In this video, let's talk about what is Blazor. In one sentence, Blazor is a component-based single-page application framework that achieves interactivity with C Sharp. So you can see that there are two parts in this sentence. The first part is that Blazor is a component-based single-page application framework. And the second part is that it achieves interactivity with C Sharp. So let's talk about the first part, which is the component-based single-page application framework. And that is different from the traditional web application frameworks. For example, under the Microsoft ASP.NET Core paradigm, we have MVC or Razor Pages. A traditional web application framework works like this. You have a user who uses a browser to access the web application. The user sends requests through the browser to the web server at the backend. So this is a request. The web server is responsible to route the request to its corresponding page. And then the HTML that is defined in the page will come back to the browser and will be rendered inside the browser. And if the user sends a different request through the browser to the web server, then the web server is again going to route that to a page. If that could be a different page, it could be the same page. Let's say this time the second request comes and it is requesting information from the second page. Then the web server will route the request to the second page and then the HTML defined in the second page will come back through the web server as a part of HTTP response and come back to the browser and then eventually the user sees the HTML for the second page. So as you can see that this type of framework is based on pages. Each request target a corresponding page. Well, that is different from component-based single-page application framework. In the component-based single application framework, of course, we're going to have a user, we're going to have a browser, and of course, the user is going to send requests to the web server as well. So those are not different at all. However, the web server is going to route the request to one page and only one page. And so this is, you can call it the root page or more properly, it's called the root component because it's component-based application framework. Everything is component, but you can still call this root component a page if it's easier for you to understand. So all of the requests, no matter how many requests the user sends, it will always go to one single page. And then the Blazor framework is going to look for different components. And what it's going to do is going to find a component and place that component inside this root page component. For example, this first request comes, it knows that it needs the component one, then it's going to place this component one inside the root component. And then maybe the next request comes, it needs component number two. Then this time it's going to replace component one with component two. From the outside, the user sees the same as a traditional web application framework. Right? It just changes page by page. But at the backend over here, you can see that this is no longer page based application framework anymore. This is component based application framework. And on top of that, each one of these components may consist one or more child component. So for example, this component may have two columns and each column is implemented by using a component. And furthermore, this left component may have its own child components. So therefore, we have a component tree and there could be as many levels as necessary. When you start working with Blazor, if you had experience with traditional web application frameworks, you will immediately see the differences between traditional web application frameworks where you are working on different pages. Here in Blazor, you are working on different components and you will be thinking in components instead of pages. Okay, so that's the first part of the statement. In the next video, we are going to talk about achieving interactivity with 
C Sharp, which makes Blazor completely different from other single page application frameworks like Angular, React, Vue.js, because those single page application frameworks uses JavaScript to achieve interactivity. Whereas in Blazor, we're using C Sharp, but we're going to talk more about it in the next video. In this video, you just need to remember that Blazor is a component based single page application framework where you are going to think in components instead of in pages. All right, that's everything I want to talk about in this video. I will see you in the next one.